Hey guys, how is it going? It's DJ Tips once again. And in today's tutorial, we will learn how to create a cue point. But then what is cue point? Cue point to cue audio is to determine the desired initial playback point in a piece of recorded music, or it's a starting point. It is a technique often used in radio broadcasting and DJing. Or to set a piece of audio or video equipment readiness to play a particular part of the recorded material. Before we begin with our tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting on the subscribe button and the notification to help us grow our channel and be able to create more tutorials every time. But then, let's be honest with ourselves. DJing is fun and stressful at the same time while doing it live. There are a lot of things going on trying to figure out your next song. People coming to you and you making sure the sound is always perfect without any interruption and still wondering if you are doing a great job for your audience to listen or dance to. But keep in mind that being a great DJ is not always about what you do live, but it's also about what you do before you go on stage. And in my experience, preparation before you go on stage is 80% of success on stage and the best way to prepare is having great cue points in your song so let's start with the basic and the first cue point every dj should have is their load marker or a starting point checking for a place on every song where you can start your music is stressful and can take about 20 seconds which is very precious and can be used for other things so it's best to create a starting point or starting cue point at the beginning of a beat after the introduction of the artist and it will also be very annoying to play the intro for audience waiting to dance to a music for them to hear which is unprofessional so without wasting much time let's try our hands on it and I have this song loaded, but I will, I will be using Virtual DJ 2021 for this tutorial, and there are some settings we should do before we begin. So click on Settings or Configure. From there, you will click on Option. In the search column, type in Q. What will be changing is auto queue. Auto queue. So we will change skip silence to queue. Skip silence to queue. That's what we will be changing. Then you will close it. That means whenever you have a queue point on a song and you load it into a deck. It will begin from the cue point, not the beginning of the song. That's why we change that settings. Because we don't want the case whereby you are in a hurry to play for your audience, to listen. And whenever you load the song, it begins from the intro, which is very annoying. That's why we set the cue point to the beginning of the song. So that whenever you load it, and start we can start playing on the on the on the start on, at the beginning remember djing is all about live live performance so you always have to be ready for it that's why we, we set the cue point so now let's begin with our tutorial so i have this track um, loaded which begins with an intro when you load the track it starts with an intro 
and every DJ do not like to play the intro. It, is, it doesn't feel professional to play the intro for audience to listen. But then it's also good for the artists to be playing, um, to, 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 to introduce themselves before the song, uh, the music starts. So then um, we have to get rid of the intro. And remember, um, our first cue point should, should begin with the first beat of the song after the intro. With the beginning, from the beginning of the song and after the intro. So let's try our hands on this one and see. So all of this place is not that important to us, the DJs. So you have to get rid of all of it. And remember, DJing is all about playing live. It's a live performance. And you should always prepare yourself before you get to um, um, your stage. Yes, you should always prepare yourself before you begin your performance or else you mess up. That's why you should be creating your cue points in the house or before your performance. Remember, um, DJing is not always about the live performance, but then it's 80% of what you do before you begin your performance. Yes, that's why you have to prepare yourself before you come to, um, um, you start with your gig. So let's get rid of the intro and begin um, our first cue point on the first beat. So this is our first beat. Our first beat after the intro. And the first beat um, in front of um, the song. So that's where we'll be creating our first cue point. So in this case, if you load the song, it will begin from the first cue point, which is very good because um, you don't have to be um, searching for a place to begin your song all the time you load in the track. It will take a lot of your time, which is not good. You can use it. It is very valuable. Any time spent on stage is very valuable and that makes you a professional DJ. So remember to always create a cue point before you come to you begin with your um your 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 performance. So this is our first. I know we to do the work without the pay. Mm -hmm. So anytime we load in our track, it will begin from that first cue point. So the next cue point, either second, third, or fourth, any cue point you feel like creating, you can create it in the middle of the song, um halfway or the um any part of the song, you can create anything just to. Um, make your your mixes very professional. The feeling should be there. Yes. Let your audience feel that you are doing something for them to feel. Yes. So any part of the song you can choose to create, but remember always create a cue point on a beat. Yes. On a beat. Not just any place. So um, if you liked uh, the tutorial, please don't forget to hit the subscribe or notification button so that you help us grow our channel and be able to create more tutorials all the time for you. Thank you for watching this tutorial. It's been DJ Tips.